continuing with our videos uh, for our series on Linux video editing with Caden Live. And again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the links in the description of the video for the full playlist if you haven't already watched them. So today we're just going to do something very simple. We're going to do some pan and zoom to create a picture in picture. I have two clips here. One of me talking and one from the clip that we've worked on in previous videos. I'm going to mute both the tracks so that we don't have to listen to it while I'm trying to record here. And I'm going to quickly just trim them both up. I'll delete the excess just to get something else. So here we have me talking with this on top. So you can't see me talking. Now, if I wanted to have the audio of me talking and not the top video, I would unmute this and you would hear me talking and see this video. But we're not going to worry about audio in this. So, I guess I should clear that out. Uh, we're going to click the top video here, and I'm going to type it up here, Zoom. And there's two options, Position and Zoom, and Zoom Pan. Haven't really messed with this one. This is the one we're going to use, Position and Zoom. So I can either drag that to this file, to this clip, or with that clip selected, I can double click and it adds it. Or if I wanted to, I can actually, I should be able to, let me make sure I'm right about this. Uh, add it to the track. Yes. So if I wanted to have multiple clips in this zoom feature, that should work, although I'm getting a white screen right now. Anyway, let me go ahead and click this star here again, which is the track uh, effects. And I'm just going to turn that off. For right now, we're just going to add the effect to this one clip. Now this is keyframeable, so I'm going to click this to go to the first frame. They always have a keyframe on the first frame. And now I can resize this. And I do want to note that I've mentioned how I can double click this video and it goes full screen. I find that uh, this pan and zoom feature when you're adjusting it works better when it's not full screen if you have any issues with that. But let me go ahead and scale this down. I can grab the center dot and move it wherever I want. And now I have a video with me talking and that video over top. Now having two videos going like this layered is going to slow down uh, a little bit. So if I press play here. If we're listening to this, the audio will be okay, but you can see that both videos are a little jerky. It's just dropping frames to keep up with the video. Again, if you watched the last video, if you use proxy files, this would uh, not happen most likely, uh, or at least if your computer was fast enough, you would get a smoother outcome. But again, it doesn't matter that it's jerky here, it will render okay. This is also why I made sure that when I used proxy clips that I did them the right aspect ratio because if these were not, if these were more of a, rect, a square rather than a rectangle, I try to line them up. When I go to render, they wouldn't be lined up right. That's why it's important to make your proxy files the same aspect ratio as your original files. So there we go. And we can say we're pretty much done, but there's other things you can do. As I said, it's keyframeable. So I can click on this video again and you can see the effects here. So let's say I wanted that video to be exact center on me. Well, I can do center left, right, center up, down. And right now it's centered right in the middle. And it keeps the proper aspect ratio of itself, even if I make the box the wrong size. But again, center up, down, center left, right. Now, you can also align it to the bottom, align it to the left, align it to the right, or align it to the top. So we have those options. Now you also have fill, so right now it's it's filling it and I can center and center this way. So you have these uh, these ones here that will, will make it the fit to height, fit to width, and fit to original size. So if you want to get it back to the full size, so again if you were to resize it like this, and you're like, oh, I want it to fit full screen, you can go like this and you can try to get it just right, but you might be a little bit off. Uh, what you want to do is make it full uh, to actual size, adjust to original size, and then center and center and center it again. But as I said, we have keyframes, uh, so we can have this move around the screen. So let's say this was a news report. I can go like this, and right now it has one keyframe, so it's going to stay in that one position the whole time. Uh, so, but let's say at one point I want to make it so it becomes full screen or moves to another part of the screen. Maybe I move on the screen. I can click here. Now, if you've worked with keyframes before, you understand this. If you haven't, then you have to understand, I can't just go and add a new keyframe and move it. 
and expect it to get to that point and move because what's going to happen now is over this period of time it's going to slowly be moving the entire you know however long that is four or five seconds but if you want to move within a second you have to set a new keyframe of where it was and a new keyframe of where you want it so let's go ahead and pause that choose this and again these little buttons here let you jump to between keyframes so I can go to this keyframe and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it so that moves it back up there then I'm going to add a keyframe of it there and then I'm going to move up one second which I can do in the timeline here here or if I want to be very accurate about it I can click in here say eight seconds rather than seven add a new keyframe and then I can move it down like so and what this does is again now instead of slowly moving over that four or five second period when I get here you can see it's playing it's staying in one spot but here in a moment it's going to do a one second move Voom, there we go if you've never worked with keyframes this takes a little a little bit it's not that hard it just takes a little playing around to really grasp the concept uh, if you have worked with keyframes at all in any animation software you understand what I'm saying so it's there and now let's say at this point I want to go full screen I'll add a new keyframe for where it's at and however long I want the animation to be we'll say one second so I'll move this to 19 seconds add a new keyframe and then I can make it full screen full original size center it center it and now it goes full screen there so again we can watch our whole video clip here again and again the video is playing a little jerky it won't render that way if you use proxy clips you'll get better results this out of this but watch the video is going to move down so for some reason you need to move it down that's great if you want the video this is more of if you want the video to come in from the side of the screen that's a great option there now it's going to go full screen right here there we go and again if we turn the audio back on we can have the audio from this track playing or this track playing or of course we can use the volume keyframeable and have this video I could be me talking and then when we get to the point where it goes full screen fade me out and fade the audio from that in so kind of like a news report type thing so that is picture in picture pan and zoom whatever you want to call it um, in a nutshell there's other ways of doing it but I find that to be the simplest in Caden Live uh, thank you for watching it again this is part of a series check out the link in the description for the full playlist for my channel film or my website filmsychris.com that's Chris with a K you can search through all my videos there also check out my patreon page patreon.com forward slash melex1000 if you want to become a supporter that'd be great if you can't support me financially think about supporting by sharing liking subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and commenting below and of course each week I'm releasing a new video so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those thanks for watching and as always I hope that you have a great day